Hey everybody, it's Madge the Veg, sheltering in and letting it all hang out. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> Today I'm here reading your Corona Confessions. And this week it's all about grooming. Or not. We're talking about the habits from the tip of your greasy hair down to your untrimmed toes. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, but before we do, don't forget to hit subscribe below. That's right, do it. It's right there. Oh, see? Didn't that feel good? And now we can be together forever, like two swans or herpes. <laughs> First confession. Coronavirus has been a great excuse to get out of sex and shaving. See, now that's the kind of positivity you need in a horrible situation like this. Silver linings. I was making fun of all the people panic buying toilet paper until this morning when I realized we barely had any left. So now I can't complain, but I have quietly panicked in the bathroom by myself. <laughs> Thank goodness the full bush is back, right? It's back, right? Please tell me it's back. My bush is so big. It's spreading all over my body. It's almost like a cocoon around it. It's probably protecting me from the virus. I've been wearing the same pair of sweatpants for the last week and either I'm getting used to the smell or I really don't need to wash these pants ever again. I'm at the point where my dry shampoo doesn't work anymore. I'm also at the point where I don't care. I had to ask my husband to add wax strips to the grocery list and when he asked what they're for, I just looked at him and said, we're stuck together for an indefinite period of time. Just get the strips. I have an abrupt line where my hair color ends and my natural color begins. I'm calling it ombre and feeling way better about it. Ooh, fashion, I like it. It's called viral fashion. Your fashion's going viral, get it? My husband and I were sharing a blanket with our feet peeking out. My kids commented on my husband's gross feet. They were mine. I miss my pedicurist. Mm. You tweezer, if I'm sheltering in place, so are. Everyone is coming together during this time. Even my eyebrows have joined together in a form of unison. I sat in the mirror and plucked my eyebrows and chin for a good 45 minutes. Putting aside the fact that I clearly had way too much hair covering my face, the tweezing was oddly satisfying and calming. Normally, when I see a stray hair on my face, I launch into sheer panic, wondering who saw it and didn't tell me. Guess what I did? Nothing. I will get to it when I get to it. I feel like a changed woman. Well, those were great. Thank you for sharing. I'm Madge the Vag. And if you have a Corona confession, leave it in the comments. Or visit our confessional page at scarymommy.com. Because if we're going to stay inside, Let's grow our bushes together. Who's with me? I know you are. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> You're everywhere. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs>